Welcome everybody, downtown Ottawa. I don't come down here too, too often. In fact, I've never brought in the show to downtown Ottawa, so we're just gonna go check out a few things. It's quite packed. And we're in the Byward Market right now. So right here in the Byward Market is a metal bar that my uh, band used to play at all the time. The ceremonial used to play here quite frequently. Here at the Rainbow, not the Rainbow Bistro on Sunset in LA, which I like to go to. This is the Rainbow of Ottawa. Yeah. The Rainbow Bistro of Ottawa. Great venue, good elevated stage. It was one of my favorite venues to play here in downtown Ottawa. Surprised I've not brought the show here to the downtown area, so welcome to downtown Ottawa. This is the Rainbow. Ottawa's live music hall since 1984. Played my share of gigs here. Dang, I've been craving some southern catering for a while. Fat boys, it's got some good barbecue here. Oh, can't tell you how good that smells. Oh, it's tempting, it's tempting. It's tempting, we got, to, we got some things to see though. Oh, don't look at it, don't look at it. These two blue gentlemen connected at the face. I guess they're connected at the nose. They're liars. And they're standing atop two blue sheep. I guess they're sheep. Gotta admire some of the architecture in these buildings. The older buildings of Ottawa. It's the Tin House in the early 20th century tinsmith Honor Foisy advertised his trade by decorating the outside of his lower town Ottawa house. That was a few blocks from here. When the house was demolished in 61, the facade was saved and later reproduced by artist Art Price. It kind of became like the, bl the blueprint for a lot of the architecture in Ottawa. This is a mile of history, a National Capital Commission property. Well, that's pretty cool. Silver Fox Barbershop here. Come on in. Wow. As this church opens up to us. As it comes in view. It's big. Very big. I get this statue over here too. This one's pretty cool. The angel. The horn blowing angel of Ottawa. Donated by the Roman Catholic Episcopal. We have our electrical boxes decorated here, kind of like they do in Los Angeles. This is Notre Dame Cathedral. First planned as a parish church in 1839 transformed as it achieved the status of a cathedral, the new Catholic, uh, we're a diocese of Bytown, 1847. The 1800s. You're wondering, uh, there's just this double-decker bus what's making that noise, got Niagara Falls on there. Downtown Ottawa, where we are currently. That's what that is, if you're wondering. Stare right up this church. Two cross towers. Up in the blue sky. That is something. Another angle from the left of this tremendous looking church. We got Joseph. Thomas Dumo up here. Yeah. 
Ryan taking a load off over here. Those towers. This stuff excites me. I don't like to tell you, it's just it's exciting. Onward. Can't be out here in the summer heat without some Dasani. And we're just taking a look at this gigantic spider. It's ready to take over the city. And yeah, as we walk underneath the spider, you will see Parliament Hill. The hills of Parliament. We're going to head over there. So now that's something everyone wants to see. Look what we're beneath. Of spider. Spider eggs? Are those, e those are eggs, yeah. Whew. This thing's big. I get an angle from this side. And behind that would be the NAC, the National Arts Center. I've seen Jerry Seinfeld there, Kevin James, Weird Al. Right there, National Arts Center. Beautiful building, too. I've never actually seen this giant spider. Looks like some of the ones in my place. And it's directly across the street from that church we were just at. Look at that church. Look at that spider. Yeah, this is a very good angle to get everything from. That giant spider right there, the church, the NAC over here, National Gallery of Canada. Chateau Laurier is over here. We're gonna go over here, take a look at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And we'll take a look at Parliament Hill as well. See, look at these decorated power boxes. Once in a while, you'll catch uh, some horses down here. You come down here on Canada, you will not be able to move. We're gonna head over there to Parliament Hill. So. Can't miss these. Giant tiki things. Wondering what those were. They aren't tiki figures, it's the three watchmen. The three watchmen, these figures watch for danger emanating from both the supernatural and everyday worlds. Often positioned at the top of the tall cedar totem poles in front of houses in Haida villages. They give warning if a threat approaches. That's what those things are. <laughs> right. How are they supposed to do that? They are watching. They're watching in three different directions at once. This one's watching me right now. Picking up on my eagle. This one's watching traffic. And this one's staring at that big beautiful church. Here's the gallery. Here's where we are. We're right there. I'm gonna walk over there. We're gonna go over to Parliament Hill, which you'll see right there. Even though parts of it are under construction, at the Ottawa River here, and uh, the bridge there, which leads you to Quebec. Certainly doing a little bit of construction there on Parliament Hill. I think that is the right side of it. Not gonna take any type of Parliament tour. This is uh, Majors Hill Park. Right outside of Parliament. Got the river over here. We 
We are high up here. High on the hill. Parliament Hill Museum of Civilization, which I have covered, is right over there. Actually, no, I haven't covered Civilization. I covered the Nature Museum, which is also close by. Oh, there's Parliament Hill. I am the Prime Minister of Canada. What do you guys want? Danger. Don't go over the edge. Good view here, though. Make out the uh, clock t clock tower of Parliament there. That is copper. The roofs are made of copper. We got the Bytown Museum down there. Over here we got Mr. John By, Lieutenant Colonel, Royal Engineers. Looking good, sir. Looking good. And he's enjoying a nice sunny day. And his view of Parliament Hill. Now we got the Chateau Laurier over here. Also a link to the Rideau Canal. Which you can skate on. Okay, there's the uh, History Museum over there. No, Nature Museum. Yeah, Nature Museum over there. Which I've covered. Wow, Chateau Laurier looks awesome. Get some good views of that as so we walk by. Town yeah. Ottawa's got some. Pretty stellar architecture. Mm. Smells very good over here. A couple people having a toke. And a toke. It smells quite delectable. Great view of one side of the Chateau de Laurier here. bridge up here. We should go up these stairs, go across this bridge, and we'll be in front of Parliament. Cool. So the water creams out down there. We're going to go over this bridge, make it our way to the front of Parliament. All right, giving you quite the downtown tour of Ottawa today. Again, very surprised that I haven't covered it. right lady you're in the video want to get a front angle of the Chateau Laurier here this would be the entryway it's an Ottawa landmark so covered uh, some different angles so I might figure we might as well show you the entryway just over there this bike here should be in a museum you just grab a pamphlet off the giant wheel that little back wheel <laughs> Hard to ride. So that would be hard to ride. As I said, we're not going to take a Parliament Hill tour. Basically, just going to go check it out from the front side. doors. A 
longest serving prime minister, William Lyon Mackenzie King. What up, Mr. King? What are you looking at? There's nothing over there. And over here we find Sir Wilfrid Laurier. He looks good. Wow, look at Parliament Hill. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Some war heroes over here. This guy. Firing the cannon. Be cool. Canada certainly has its fair share of history. Well, oh, we'll go check that out too. Don't you worry. Giving the rope a little tuggy. <laughs> Give it a little tuggy. Okay, here is your first unveiling of Parliament Hill on the Mr. Thrash's show. Yet to film Parliament Hill and document it for the show. So, here we are. It's where the magic goes down in Ottawa. It's very much a business city, which is why I like to spend a lot of time away from Ottawa. I knew I'd do this eventually. And I'm going to be on the road for much of the summer, so... Dang, look at the stained glass there. Get back to Parliament in a second. And admire all this architecture. So it was just that first side of the building, which was this side under construction. The front looks pretty good. It used to be all open over here. Now you kind of have to get in there. So you can take tours of there. I've been right up into the clock tower on a school trip quite a few different times actually. Yeah, these roofs, these roofs are made out of copper. Penny roofs. Roofs made of penny. Bubbles. Is that Parliament Hill? We're in time. Pull this fucking thing over, man. Let's do this. Okay, it was actually just over here in the Trailer Park Boys movie, Don't Legalize It. They pull up right here where these officials are. <laughs> Ricky's going, holy fuck, is that Parliament Hill? Yes, that's, that's, that's Parma, Parliament Hill, Ricky. Here's a shot of Ricky and Bubbles in front of the Chateau Laurier and Parliament Hill here in downtown Ottawa. The speakers, you've got a lot of amazing speakers here today because this is about using our vote to change. And that episode was filmed on 420. On 420 when everyone's gathered here to smoke pot on the hill and Ricky and Julian Bubbles got to go in there and uh talk to a board about not legalizing marijuana so Ricky could stay in business. That all took place just in there. Ricky, we're not going to get into this hearing. Not a problem, Bubbles. I'll get us into this fucking hearing. Attention, friends. Wow. So nice just to walk out here. Perhaps I don't come down enough. Keep watching. There's much more to see here. Get better views of these buildings. There you go, folks. Parliament Hill, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Our country's capital. As I said, it's a business city. Pretty cool, though. You can go right up in that tower. Just in front of me here, you're going to see the eternal flame of Ottawa. This never goes out, not even in the winter. Burns all year round. 
even cooler at night. You can actually smell the fumes. Oh, flame is pushing my direction. You can feel the heat. You can feel the heat. It's hotter than the sun. Of course, the sun is a ball of fire as well. So, but who doesn't love a fountain? I'll see people throw things in there and make wishes. A loony? Grab it! Okay, so we'll walk as close as we can to the Tower of Parliament Hill. I can actually remember going up in the elevator when I was like 11, 12 years old on a school trip. Pretty cool. If we go up there, we can see into that courtyard. Let's go over there and check that out. Try to get another angle from up here. This other statue. I do get some more pleasing angles over here. Like you can get a good uh, angle in there. Crazy, I don't know what they're doing there. Oh, they're built. Oh, giant hole dug in there. Yeah, this stuff is going down. It's a closer look at what you'll see up there. It's hard to see those gargoyle type things that stick out from the tower. They look like this. They're there might be hard to spot from as far away as I can stand. This whole area to the left of Parliament Hill is fenced off. There's a giant hole down there they might be putting in the... It's like six stories deep. Yeah, they're probably putting in the subway system. Connecting it to Parliament Hill. Maybe. J just a guess. Looks like this is about as close as we can get. This statue over here is blocked off as well. You ought to do reparations. But still, pretty good close shot of Parliament Hill. You make out those gargoyle things sticking out from the tower there. Massive construction going on here. Like I'm standing in Europe somewhere. <laughs> this shit's been here for a long, long time. Thanks for joining in, everybody. If you're still here. Learning, learning together. Seeing things maybe you've never seen. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show. I only shave every five days and I'm just on the verge of that fifth day, so. Thought I'd mention that. Look, Parliament Hill. Wow, look at this. 
through the entryway. Man, that's cool. That's really cool. Stained glass in there. What is it about stained glass? Still surviving snow. That stuff lingers forever. Well, nearly. Okay, so we move on from Parliament Hill. Morning, Ricky. Actually, close this street off. So it's not really jaywalking. Unless you're Johnny Thrasher. I'm jaywalking. I'm always jaywalking. Okay, so this is something I missed in my Terry Fox special. And I did all the educating for you about Terry Fox. Here's the Terry Fox statue. And he died in 1981 uh, amidst his run across Canada. The greatness of the human spirit. Nothing more resilient. On one good leg. Go back, check out my Terry Fox special. I give you all the info on Terry Fox. We love you, Terry. Okay, now we're on Spark Street. We got this statue of this bear. He's grabbed himself a salmon. Spark Street. Another Trailer Park Boys filming location over here. It's when Jim Leahy and Randy were chasing the boys over to Parliament Hill. They ended up over here, just one street over. And uh, Leahy's peeing all over the place. Randy's crying. Show you a clip of that. I'm gonna say it's this area. They utilized, it's pretty much the same down the way, so they utilized it down here and here, but this is it, Spark Street. That's where they shot that scene from uh, Don't Legalize It, which is actually my favorite Trailer Park Boys film. Don't Legalize It, 100%. Rest in peace, John Dunsworth, who played Jim Leahy. Not long ago, they filmed right here. Pretty cool. Some Trailer Park Boys filming just over there. Got this thing up ahead. Take a look at this. They do a haunted walk here downtown. This is the ticket office over here. I've never taken it, but they do, they do. This thing, Lord Stanley's gift. Lord Stanley. Here, we are going to stop by the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Here in Ottawa, at the corner of Elgin and Sparks. 1914 to 1918, in service of Canada. Gorgeous day to do this, honestly. They gave their youth they gave their youth for our freedom. Approaching the tomb of the unknown soldier right here. Here lie the remains of Canada's unknown soldier. Please treat this grave with respect. 100%. The tomb of the unknown soldier. Pretty cool, has his helmet there. Very killer looking sword. Massive. Absolutely 
absolutely massive. It's blocking out the sun from the sand. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty. Pretty cool. And over here on the other side, you got the cannons. But those are back to rock. I can't look at a cannon like that and not think of the For Those About to Rock We Salute You album. ACDC, 1981. Or every time I saw ACDC Live and they pull out the cannons at the end of the show. We salute you. Me and Ryan and Niagara Falls actually visited the grave of Miss Laura Secord right here. Statue of Laura Secord. You can go down here. Neither of us have actually been down here. This is going to be cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's viewing areas down here. Of course there's also homeless set up over here. The deep Pringles. But it's not really for the homeless. This is where we were earlier. Before we went over the bridge. Under the bridge. RCHP. And it's actually Sapper's Bridge. Foundation of Sapper's Bridge built by Lieutenant Colonel John By and his Royal Engineers in 1827. 1827? What? 1800s. You gotta watch out for a yearn and everything. It's no different than Toronto or LA. Maybe people pee in there, I don't know. I'm actually surprised the water level is so low right now. No day will ever erase you from the memory of time. Time, what is time? And this was built in 1827. Check this out. It's the totem pole of Canada. Big totem pole. The totem pole of Canada. Put that up in 1991. Big totem pole. Over here you got the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. I don't think it's an actual factory. Otherwise, it's something I'd definitely cover. Found everything in the downtown Ottawa area. This, this is the market here. Vendors, McDonald's, everything you can think of. Copyrighted. I somehow doubt it, but a lot of great, quaint little shops here. In the market. Downtown Ottawa. Tickled pink. Tickle me pink. Sushi zone and ramen. Poutinery. Zups. Good poutine here. Good poutine here. You can get some of the world's greatest poutine right here in Ottawa. Fortunately, yes, close. <laughs> Just our luck. In the Byward Market. Still in here across the way has seen some better days. We found a semi endangered species. Sneak up on some endangered species and take off the road up this 
<laughs> hey, phone, see better days. However, it is still operating. Look, still in operation. Hey, phone here if anybody needs it. <laughs> they do exist. Zach's, also a really great restaurant. Zach's, the blue cactus. <laughs> blue cactus. Whoever ever saw a blue cactus. Okay, just gonna cap it off for now. We're just getting back to the vehicle. Gonna pay our parking and head home. Did lots of walking today around the downtown Ottawa area. And now we're tired. Don't hit me, for God's sakes, don't hit me. You were fucking awesome in there, Ricky. <laughs>